Hey, what's up, everyone? Johnny Man here, and uh, welcome back to Diamond's Eye Forever. Today is episode number six of the series, and we've entered uh, January 1st, 2002. So, are we on top of the table, as uh, you may remember from the last episode? And uh, yeah, we're now into the exciting time of the campaign. This is where we can sign players on the Bosman ruling. Uh, so, we're going to be looking out for talent to try and bring in. All right, so Yanni Capella was a player I tried to bring in on loan from Rangers. He is a defender, a uh, defensive midfielder, play left back and centre midfield as well. I'm trying to sign his uh, partner, Adam Zook, in the Rangers team, um, but so far, no luck there. So I'm going to try and bring this guy in. Right now, he's not interested, but I'm going to offer him a decent deal anyway. We'll see what he does there. 21-year-old, he's got a lot of potential. All right, and of course, Matt Letizier. Um I'm going to try and bring my, my favourite player of all time, Matthew Letizier, in. And he's he, he's going to agree to a deal here. I mean, I've got to sign Matt Letizier. Um, as a Saints fan, uh, I hope you understand why I want to sign him. Uh, I'm not saying he's going to be a good signing for the team, but I, I, I just have, if given the opportunity, I've got to try and bring in Matt or the God, put it that way. All right, so um, here we are right now. Justin Walker, by the way, has just returned from injury. Is he fit enough to play? He is fit enough to play, so he might go straight into the team today. Uh, this is how the league table stands right now, just past the midway point of the season, and uh, currently we're leading the league, so things are going very well there, and the cup competitions are very well, obviously, as well, and I'm hoping that will continue into the new year. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, let me see. Chunstone, Brady could drop Brady, but Brady had a good performance last time out. Um... Obviously, Walker is back. I'm going to put him on the bench just for now. I'm going to ease him in. Uh, Billy Turley, by the way, is back. So he'll be on the bench instead of uh, Tony Pennock, who will return to the reserve team. All right. So any other changes I should make? Let's take a look at the condition. That's usually a big indicator. For Sinan and Butra are struggling. Uh, so it may be an opportunity for Churnstrom to play up top and maybe even extend a run out here for Dwayne Darby. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I've got a... So Derby starts up top. Butcher will sit. Uh, Vasinen will sit the next game, I think. I think I'll make that the plan. All right, so that's good. All right, so up against Oxford now. Let's take him on. Let's try and get a victory here to start this episode. Uh, Oxford line up a 4-4-2 formation. Um, Omoyimi. I remember this guy, particularly the Nigerian. I think I remember him simply because his name... Is, uh, is borderline ridiculous. Uh, Sam Stockley playing at right back, the namesake. Sam Stockley used to play for Barnet. Stephen Bywater um, used to play for West Ham United, or currently still does in this game. He's on loan to Oxford this season. All right, so let's get it started. Up against Oxford here at home again in Neen Park. Obviously, I'd love to start the uh, new year with a victory. We're going to get the first goal. First goal was certainly key for us. I should really sit down and work out what that stat is because I'm pretty sure it would be heavily in our favour that if we score first that we more likely to go on to win the game. The percentage is certainly certainly in our favour. But um, obviously we're down 1-0 now to Omoyimni. Omoyimni, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I'm absolutely guessing here. All right, so 45 minutes in and a goal here just for half-time for Cali for Sinan. That's his 12th goal of the campaign for uh, the young Finnish player. He's, he's got to be given a call up to the Finnish national team soon. Yeah, he's got uh, quite a few players ahead of him here. Obviously, Johansson, uh, Kuki, Littman, and Forsell. Very notable players, but he's got to get a look sooner rather than later. His form has just been too good. Uh, damn it. Not a crap way to start the second half. And uh, Dwayne Dubby hitting the, uh, the post as well. Uh, so 60 minutes here. I think it's time for Justin Walker. What do you guys think? I'm thinking so too. Uh, I'm going to bring him on here, but I'm going to tell him to push on forward. Um, I'm also going to bring on Butra as well for Dwayne Derby. I also have Lincoln on the bench too. Uh, I'm going to bring him on for Mustafa. So a hat trick of changes. Hopefully it will turn the tide of this game. 30 minutes left to go. We've got time here to get something out of this. At least a draw. Hopefully a victory. All right. So come on, boys. Butra. Oh. I mean, that was a great chance. I sense from the uh, the commentary there that that was a good chance for Butcher. All right, so we're running out of time here. I'm going to start to... Oh, get in there, Butcher. Fantastic. All right, so back on level terms here, but I'm still going to go for the victory. I'm not going to settle for the draw here. I feel like the game is in our hands. Momentum is in our favor. 
get in there, Justin Walker, fantastic, 3-2. Tell you, never out of this game. Championship Manager is one of those rare games that even if you're two goals down with five minutes left to go, you've still got a very good chance of getting something out of the game. And final whistle has gone. It's finished it 3 2. Good resilience there. Obviously, Walker coming off the bench, returning from injury today, getting his ninth goal of the campaign. Marvelous campaign from Justin Walker and an absolute steal, by the way, at only £275,000. So the victory helps momentum. Uh, keeps us keeps us having good momentum going forward. Two wins in the league now. Um, then we take on Stockport County, which um, normally nowadays you would say, oh, Stockport County, they're obviously not a great team. They're playing the Vanuama Regional Divisions. But um, this is Stockport County uh, from 2002 uh, when they uh, were in the uh, in the championship or Division 1, as it was called back then. And uh, we lost out on Darius Adams. Like, as you can see, he signed for, he's going to sign for Warsaw at the end of the season. So disappointing that we lost out to Warsaw. But... There you have it. You can't win them all, unfortunately. All right. So here we go up against uh, Stockport County at home. Obviously, um, and given our recent record in the cup competitions, I don't think I think we got a chance today. I really do. Um, as I mentioned, Vasani will take a break today. Um, where is he? Where is he? Vasani will take a break. It'll be Butra starts today. Uh, Vasina will sit on the bench. Walker will, of course, return to the first team. He'll play ahead of uh, Brady. Uh, Brady will go to the bench. Um, I think that's the only change we're going to make. Christian Putz is a backup centre-half, but so far he's doing okay for us. I'm still waiting for the return of uh, UC and Ray Warburton uh, before we drop him. But overall, yeah, let's, let's, let's use the same side. All right, so... Lincoln's a happy with training. Again, I'm not surprised. He's, he's always unhappy with training. All right, so here we go. Stockport County a, at home. Take a look at the Stockport team real quick. Um, John Arnorisa plays with Stockport County. 22-year-olds, John Arnor. <laughs> the same one that played for Liverpool in the Champions, uh, Champions League uh, victory. Now, we got a chance here. Stephenson scored here, and it's 1-0, and uh, Yarko Vies has been sent off. Now, he's an important player for them. Uh, Finnish international scores goals and creates them. That's a huge blow to them. And we've got a great opportunity to scalp another team here. All right, so come on, boys. Stephenson makes it 2-0. Can you believe it? He's uh, doubled his goal-scoring tally for the season. <laughs> he's now up to 4, and we're 2-0 up here. Make it 3-0. Dwayne Derby gets in his fifth goal of the campaign and third of the game and we should have been 4-0 there James Dudgeon looks like he missed a great opportunity but what a first half performance from the boys here capitalising on Stockport going down to 10 men and we're absolutely playing them off the park we we just, we fully deserve to be ahead and win him sorry and, uh, and as ahead of Yarn 4-0 can you believe it's 4-0 oh, I'm sorry I'm absolutely speechless 4-0 here against Stockport at home this is a serious scalp I may not feel like it, but Jesus, even Dwayne Derby got a hat trick. Can you believe that? 5 0. And we have the opportunity in the FA Cup third round against a tougher opposition to give people breaks. And this is unreal. This is absolutely unreal. Uh, Churnstrom's going to play up top, by the way, instead of Brady. Give, Churn give uh, Churnstrom a chance up there because he can play the role. Um, we'll give Christian. Puts a break. Let's be on Stuart Duke Gray. Why not? Nothing else to lose. We're not going to lose from here. Five nil up. I'm going to get to the uh, fourth round now of the FA Cup. Absolutely amazing display. I tell you what, we live for the cup competitions, don't we? Another fantastic scalp there, uh, knocking out Stockport County. All right, so uh, Yanni Capella has, has said he's not interested in signing for us, which is absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. All right, let's take a look at expiring players. Speaking of. Um, Heiko Herlich, the uh, German uh, international striker, is interested in the sign for us. Uh, plays for uh, Blutzia Dortmund, uh, the A team, so I'm guessing that's their reserve side. Um, got a few goals this season, got a few goals overall, to be honest with you. Played uh, some pretty big clubs in his time. He's going to be on too much money. I can't really afford to sign him. Um, Lars Sigurdsson, though, that would be a really good sign at the centre half. I'd love to be able to get him in if possible, but I might have to wait a little bit before we can do that. Um... Laurent Jaffo, Sheffield United, Malky Mackay. That would be a really good sign in, especially for Division 2. Yeah, I'll have a bit of Malky Mackay. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, that'd be an awesome sign in. 
Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, near Sorvel of Crew Alexandra. Uh, it could be a useful signing. Could be a useful signing. 28 years old. Mark Summerbell, 25 year old Middlesbrough player. This could be a very useful signing too, couldn't it? How much would he want? Just out of interest. £10,000 a week. It's a little too much for him. Uh, Stephen Clements. Ooh, that, that, that is an interesting little signing, that is. Played for Bournemouth this season. Did okay for them. Um, let's keep doing. Just go on the list. Let's do a few pages and then we'll move on to our next game. Um, oh, Tiro Pentila. Another finished player here. Centre half, also hold midfielder. Just wants to be a squad rotation player. Now, he looks more than capable of starting for us. I want to go ahead and oblige, however, because he wants £900 a week because of it. Oh, and Sean Gota. Shall we sign the goat? Yeah. Let's see what let's see what he wants first. Nope. I love you, but I'm not giving you ten grand a week. Um Joe Girl right back. Whatever his team we need improving on. Centre half, certainly. And that's what we're looking at. Clayton Ince perhaps bring another goalkeeper in. Although I'm obviously happy with uh Priest naturally. Tommy Mooney. That's a legendary name, that is Tommy Mooney. Obviously, a Watford legend. Um, he wants to be a squad rotation player. That would be a good signing too, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's try and bring in Tommy Mooney. Okay. Obviously, all these signings won't happen then until the end of the season. And uh, they'll give us a boost going into the next campaign. Uh, should we get promoted? Again, maybe I'm thinking of too much ahead of ourselves, but uh, we'll see. All right, so we're taking on uh, potentially Crew Alexander, who play in Division 1, or Sunderland, who play LT in the Premier League in this one. So another tough game, but we are playing at home, and obviously the confidence is high. We just beat Stockport 5-0, and the confidence just got higher. We're going to sign a footballing legend, Matthew Letissier. How exciting. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't wait to get Matt Letissier in a Russian and Diamond shirt and get to manage him again. It's been a long time since I got to manage my favourite football player, Matt Letizia, but it's always fun to do that. Um, Scott Wilson. Oh, yes. Oh, I was going to sign Scott Wilson. That's it. Yeah. You better not fucking sign him. All right. I forgot about him. He was going to be a big, big signing for us. I'm going to throw a ton of money at him because I feel like he could be a very, very good centre half signing for me. All right. So West Ham put a bid in for him. Hopefully, he'll choose us over West Ham United, but... Well, I'm going to be honest, I don't really foresee that happening. All right, so uh, Bournemouth want Patila, so do Oldham Athletic. But I hope you'll come to his senses and sign for us instead. We're a much, much, much bigger and better prospect than either of those two sides. Um, all right, so we're against Watch Channel at home, back into league action here. Um, I'd love to keep this little win streak running. Go it, it, uh, love to keep this little winning streak going. If possible. Um, condition, everyone looks everyone looks satisfactory. No need to make any changes. We just beat a really good opposition 5-0. I'm not going to make any changes. That would be foolish to do so. All right, so here we go. Watch Dell at home. So, yeah, of course, no, my luck. We just beat Stockport 5-0. So then we're gonna, probably going to go on and lose to Watch Dale. That's That's usually how this, how this game plays out for me. All right, so 22 minutes in here and still not a goal. Never mind. Bjornsson gets a 10th goal of the season from midfield. The uh, Frank Lampard of Division 3, as I like to call him, has made it 1-0 uh, at here in halftime. And uh, things going smoothly. So, love to get a second goal, though, just to put us ahead and we can start resting some guys because the fixture congestion definitely is an issue for us this season, or this moment in time anyway, because we're playing midweek games and then weekend games. And lads are only getting three or four days off in between, and that's not really... Good, especially when we've got players returning from injury. All right, so one nil up still. Um, game's not game's not set yet, so I'm not going to make any changes at the back because we're holding them out. Uh, coming off Derby though, if a signing is going to come in for him, um, Lincoln, I'm going to put him in there too ahead of uh, Churnstrom. And uh, we've got to hope we've got to hold out now. 15 minutes left to go. I'd love to kill this game now if possible. Hopefully, the introduction of a signing can do that. And it's one final whistle here. 1 0, we'll take it. It's a, one, a very unconvincing performance from the guys, but we'll take it. It's a victory. And we'll just move on to the next game now. All right, so Malky Makar has rejected a contract. Um, he's currently very happy at Norwich, so I don't blame him, to be honest with you. But it was worth a try anyway. Malky Makar would have been a fantastic 
uh, sense a half sign in for us. All right, so pushing forward, here, Ray Borbertson is now back to full training. Here's our backup centre half, but honestly, the former Christian Poos, I'm not really too concerned about it. And um, yeah, uh, Tommy Mooney, by the way, has agreed to sign for the time for Stockport County, not us. That's very disappointing. I expect to be able to sign Tommy Mooney. That would have been a, a nice little transfer there. It's okay though. You win some, you lose some. All right, so here we go. Top of the table clash now up against the latent Orient. Um, they're currently third place in the table. They are 13 points behind us. So not really much of a top of the table clash, but um, a win here will continue to see a stretch the gap between us and the uh, chase impact. We're currently 15 points ahead of Shrewsbury in, in the automatic spots. It's, it's starting to look more and more likely that we're going to get automatically promoted, even though it's only January. All right, and by the way, UC is back and available to, for selection today, and I expect put him back in the first team straight away um christian poots as solid as you have been you're going to return to the bench you see it's just too good of a player not to have in there and i'm going to play you on the bench ahead of stuart gray so you got at least a consolation place of a place on the bench so um good to have uh good to have uc back to play against dungeon with dungeon um yeah apart from that same lineup let's keep rolling a victory here would be immense. I think the last time we played in Orient, I think we lost. I think it was one of the, the three or four defeats we've had this season. And that's a good start. Bjornsson uh, getting himself his 11th goal of the season. The uh, Division 3 Frank Lampard makes it 1-0. I think Frank Lampard, was, yeah, Frank Lampard was around this time. Yeah, he was just a young lad. Uh, Phil Stamp, by the way, on loan from Middlesbrough getting a goal there. Makes it 1-1. But uh have got plenty of time here to win this. I'm not too concerned. Obviously, I'll play away from home. Things are a bit more difficult. All right, so we've got the assist, by the way. Let's take a look at that real quick. Nobody got the assist. That's fine. We'll let's like see the team get a few more assists saying that, though. I would like to see a dominating uh, playmaker on our side, but I'm yet to really witness one other than Justin Walker and since his return from injuries he's not been great he's not as good as his uh, pre-injury form um defense struggling as you can see all six out of ten RC Priest having a great game in goal eight out of ten and then Anders Stefferson doing a goal projecting the back line um but apart from that a little bit concerning that all our defenders are only on six and that is a little concerning um Butcher got a goal back straight away though two two here so never mind three two and I'm going to make an aggressive move here because we're still in this game. So Bjornsson pushing forward. Vasino come on for Derby. Lincoln from Staffer. And then, yeah, okay, that's fine. And obviously on his return from injury use, he's only got a 6 out of 10 gets in there, Butra. I learned forgot all the season for Butra. I also got time here to maybe him and get a winner. Also got time to throw it the way too. Uh, final whistle has gone there. So 3-3, three, three, not a terrible result against a very tough opposition. Uh, we'll take it, we'll move on, we'll just get the point and just be happy with it. Um, so Wilson has snubbed the move to us and West Ham, most likely because he's he's happy at uh, Rangers. Um, I give him a bit more lenient of a release clause and then we'll renegotiate his contract when we get here. Uh, we'll also add some bonuses for goal and assist as well. Hopefully that'll be enough to see the deal get done. It would be a really good signing for us to have at centre-half to play alongside UC next season. All right, so, and uh, Adam Pollux, by the way, lacking light, light training, that's definitely a nice addition. Uh, Justin Walker, yeah, he's been amazing. We'll build up the praise. We need to see him back to need to see him get back to his best form. All right, and we lost our Antiro Pentela as well. He's going to sign for Hibs instead of us. All right, so here we go in against Wickham now, uh, playing Division 2, by the way, in the southern section of the Vans Trophy. All right, so um, UC did not have a good game last time out, so that was a little bit disappointing. Uh, I'm also going to start for signing then ahead of Derby. Um, yeah, he wasn't that good, was he? So I'm actually going to drop UC today, believe it or not. Uh, I'm going to play back Christian Pus again. All right, so any other changes need to be made? I don't think so. Everyone's doing okay apart from that. Ben Thatcher's struggling a little bit, but he's a pro. He'll get through it. All right, so here we go. Up against uh, Wickham Wanderers, the Choir Boys. 
let's see if we can continue here. This is, I mean, this competition is the most realistic competition um, outside of the league that we can win. So I'd like to see us progress if possible. All right, so Bullum, Danny uh, Bullum getting a goal there. 14th goal of the season for him. And a 1-0 down early on here. All right, so come on, boys. Again, the goal scoring potential in this team, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we can score goals from anywhere. So we're not relying on one single player, which is good and, and bad because I would like to have a go-to goal scorer. But Hasmenovic, unfortunately, is out, and so is Adam Proudluck. So we're going to have to rely on a team effort to get on the score sheet today. All right, so oh, penalty. There you go. Christian Pors gets his first goal. Pus gets his first goal of the, in the season and first goal for the club. Surprised that he was one to take it. Ah, oh, Paul Lemon getting a goal there. 57 minutes here on the clock. And once again, we're chasing this game. Obviously, we got away with it in the last one where we pulled a, a goal back to make it 3-3 uh, at the end. But this is a very different task. Oh, there you go. Butcher getting a goal there. 78 minutes getting there. I'm not sure if this goes to a replay. I'm hoping it doesn't. We don't need another fixture. Um, I'm going to make a change there. You see, I'm going to actually bring you on to play in front of the back line. Little unorthodox. Doesn't usually play there, but um, we'll give Stephenson a bit of a break. He's only on 6 out of 10 as well. He's not having a good game. Um, yeah, well, that's the only change we'll make. So, 10 minutes have to go in this game. All up for grabs from either side. Never mind. All right, so we got 9 minutes to go to try and salvage this. We want some push you forward, Derby. Nah, we're not going to bring you on. Rather leave a sign in and boot on. So we've still got time here. Nope, we do not. Unfortunately, it's finished here. Three two to a Wickham. Uh, disappointing display, really. That's a team we could have been beat, could have beat, and it's uh, it's good. It was good practice, really, to go up against a team that play in Division Two because that's obviously the division we want to be in next season. I'm a lot be concerned, and we lost there. Uh, that's okay, though. We'll move on. Everyone's entitled to a bad day. At the office, we'll just have to make sure it doesn't become a regular thing. All right, so let's take a look around here for more players. I'm always intrigued by signing foreign players in this. Not sure why, probably because they're available cheaper. Um, and then potentially, that's one of the reasons, anyway. Um, hmm. I think I might just do this off camera. I might just go through this list a bit more in detail. Because as fun as this is, I'm pretty sure this is not a great viewing for you guys in, at home. So, um, oh, Ramin van der Gau is available. Dutch international player or former Dutch player. Not international, actually. I thought he made it. Got to make a couple caps, didn't he? Ah, whatever. All right. Keep pushing forward here. I think we just have one more game. or well, a couple more games now left in January, believe it or not. Um, I was hoping to get through January here, but we are running along on this episode. Um, we're playing Sunderland, by the way, in the FA Cup fourth round. All right, so we'll, we'll do this next game. Um, Wilson again rejects the contract. We'll keep pushing for that, though, off the camera. And hopefully we'll get a deal done. But, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do this match. And uh, that'll take us then to the end of uh, today's episode. Um, that'll be, what, five games? That's a pretty good number. Again, I'm not trying to make these episodes too long because, obviously, I have to edit them and uh, get them up. And, obviously, the longer the episodes are, um, the less interested you guys are. As, as far as retention goes and etc cetera, etc cetera. and obviously it's more time I've got to edit and things like that but anyway up against Scunthorpe now they are bottom of the table star player is Mark Jackson um, as you can see holding midfielder centre half Callum Davenport by the way is on loan from Coventry there that's a player I would love to bring in if possible but uh, shame about he was the guy that got stabbed in the leg I believe right yeah he got stabbed in the leg and he was out for a couple of years um, sad story really he's a very talented young centre half didn't really pan out for him though unfortunately alright so uh, any changes to the side today um, proud luck he could play today but I'm not going to risk it um, UC will return to the side today uh, this time ahead of Dudgeon, uh, this time ahead of Dudgeon, we'll give Dudgeon a break in there. Obviously, he's played a lot of football this season, much more than I expected. I brought Brigham in kind of as a backup, but um, he's been good. He's actually been surprisingly really good. But uh, we'll give him a break anyway. He's deserved a one. And uh, instead of Mustafa today, we're going to play John Cargo. It's been a while since we saw him in action, and uh, he's a promising young player. So it's good to keep rotating young players in just to help their development. All right, so I want to put this game to bed nice and early. I don't want to leave Scunthorpe in with a chance to win or get a draw or anything out of this game. This is a game that we should be winning, winning very comfortably, top versus bottom. 
And uh, so far, so good. 1-0 uh, up. Boutre getting his 13th of the season. All right. So making it 2-0 here as quick as possible would be definitely nice. There you go. 2-0 gets in there. Bjornsson is uh, 12th of the season. So 2-0 up here. Looks like we're going to 2-0 up into the break. 3-0 will be better. But it's not going to happen. That's okay. Um, as you can see, we are dominating. So we just got to stay solid now. Um, assist today for uh, Churnstrom and Stephenson. So that's promising. Um, I was looking for uh, Churnstrom to get a few assists actually from uh, midfield. Especially being naturally a left winger. Tell him to push forward in that role. He should be able to find pockets of space to play through balls to the uh, strikers. In theory. Obviously, everything's always in theory. Um, Stephenson will bring you off. Wink Lincoln comes in as a whole midfielder. I'm going to start with taking some guys out. Um, Valet was signing struggling a little bit, so we'll bring in uh, Dwayne Darby to play up top for the rest of the game. And that's two changes, so we'll leave a third one just in case we get an injury or a sending off. Butcher makes it 3-0 uh, there. And uh, Butcher has finally found some form. He had a rough start to the uh, season for us. Took a while to get going, but now he's there. He's starting to put in some very solid displays up top. All right, so it's going to finish here 3-0. By the look of things. Yep, there it is. 3-0 victory here. So a pretty good way to finish the episode. Take a look at the league table real quick and show you how things stand. As you see, we are nine points clear in Macclesfield. Macclesfield do have a game in hand over us, but I'm not concerned about it. Um, we are currently 14 points ahead of Hull City um, in fourth place. And then almost 20 points clear. Lincoln, you currently sit in eighth. So um, things are looking up and up, honestly. Um, just got to continue this form. Not get too carried away. Don't become too complacent. And... Um, promotion should be within within reach so yeah all right um yep yeah, good performance happy with that happy with all the things have ended in this episode um hope you guys enjoyed it uh if you did um uh, to leave a like on the video it truly helps um let me know what you guys think of the series and obviously promotes the videos in case you'd like to share this uh with other championship manager fans or other management game fans uh thanks so much for watching the episode i uh, truly appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next part goodbye everyone. goodbye